Okay. Okay, I think many of you are looking to hear this topic about developers slashing prices. Okay, now uh, I'm going to put my life at risk to share with you this topic. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so we're going to talk about developer slashing prices. Okay, anyway, uh, many of you, uh, many people uh, are wondering at uh, developer slash prices now, developer slash prices now, developer slash prices now. Okay, today, right, um, I want to put out a few cases for you to think. Because with these few cases, right, I think you'll make your own opinion and you'll understand whether developer will slash prices or not. First, first case. In 2018, 2019, right, all along, uh, before the pandemic moments is here, right, we have been talking about the economic crisis is going, to, is going to kill us. Okay, so when we are talking about economic crisis kill us, right, a lot of on-blocks was still ongoing in 2018. And all the on-blocks right, started selling as a new launch in 2019, including government land sales. So you will realize that in 2019, a lot of sales are very price sensitive. A lot of developers are very price sensitive. You will realize that, but of course, I will have to admit that there will be some developers that are trying to uh, earn a higher profit. There are some developers that are trying to earn a lower profit, which is normal because uh, everyone has a different perspective of a marketing, different perspective of the market. Everyone has a different game plan. This is a business after all. But most of the developers are very careful and very sensitive with prices. So when a lot of people are talking about uh, slashing prices, right? I would like to emphasize on this. Is that today, right? If developers start to slash price, okay, we, when we talk about slash prices, right? We talk about launches that has already launched. Because th when you say slash prices, means the launches have launched here. Then because of the pandemic, the developer have to have to slash prices and sell here, okay? So we are not talking about launches that haven't launched. We're talking about launches that launch. Today, if the launches that launch decide, decide to slash prices, the buyer before that, uh, they have eight weeks uh, to exercise, okay? They got plus minus eight weeks to exercise. If they realize that prices are being slashed, uh, do you think they will still exercise? So this is, this is the perspective uh, that people in the industry knows. So this is a big risk. Today, if I am, Blah, 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 properties. I sell 60 over units, 70 over units. Then I decide to slash prices. So does it mean that the 60 over units that, that bought last month, they will decide not to exercise? I, I get the risk of that happening. Even if I get the risk of gaining another 60 unit this month, it's still the same. It's still not going to make any difference. So if today you are the developer, you will slash prices. Why? Because people don't buy. Because people didn't buy, because all along your sales has been bad. Correct? Maybe that maybe that's the reason. That's the only reason you can slash prices. But today if you look at it, right, most of our 2019, 2019 uh, developments that already uh, released, they actually sell more than one third of it. We don't talk about uh core central area. The reason is because right, core central area they are meant to sell slow one. Uh. You know, you don't see core central area release and sell very well. But if you realize like now, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of projects in core central area. That is why, right, you will see uh, uh, this blah, blah, blah project went out on newspaper that they sell very well. Then the one in Newton also blah, 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 sell very well. Okay, why all these people are selling well? You have to understand it's because if you watch my previous few videos, right, there is a lot of projects coming out in CCR, in the core central area, in the in the city area for 2020. So, because there's so many projects and including CCR also in 2019, there's also a lot of projects. You realize that now in the market, actually a lot of CCR projects. Okay. So developers become very careful with pricing. You will realize that, yes, correct. I do agree that this year you may get some good deals in CCR, but it doesn't mean that these people will slash prices. Okay. It just means that if let's say this project has not released, then you will be, I mean, happy for you, good for you if the CCR project has not released. Instead of making maybe 40% profit or 30% profit, maybe the developer will think of making only 20% or 10%. But today, like I told you, if the project has already launched, all the developer will do is price remain, you know, or very hard to slash because if I slash, if today I'm a developer, I slash, then the buyer that buy before that have an exercise, will not exercise that. I lose my deals. Eh. I lose my deals where all these buyers have already committed to me. Eh. So, 
I don't know if you get where I'm coming from, but in the business sense, right, you have to understand where I'm coming from. But today, if you end, if if the project uh, has been earning 40-50% profit, which I don't think there's this kind of projects around, lah, and they're still not doing very well, but they're selling so high, they will not slash prices for their current stack. Okay, maybe, maybe they will drop prices for their future stacks to speed up the selling process. So you have to understand the developer's point of view, lah. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Is it is this a sensitive issue? But I feel that a lot of buyers they are waiting and waiting for developer slash prices, which I feel that this is a very this is a wrong move. This is a totally wrong move. But of course, you will say that hey, Aaron, you are agent. You you won't want the buyer to wait, 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 wait. And then also another thing is some some developments they may say hey, they drop prices, okay. But actually, all they do is they just increase their 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 gross price, then give you a bigger discount, lor. so it make it sounds like they are giving you a discount. I feel that you see in this marketing world, in this in this buy sell world, sales world, there is many ways to make things attractive for buyers. The real thing is, as a buyer today, today if I were to buy, I want to buy at the best price. I know that by buying at the best price, ah, I will earn the most. Correct. But the thing is, we will never be able to know when is the best price, but we can know what is the best price. Okay, you see, ah, uh, if we can estimate what is the best price, then we should be buying at the point where we think that this price is correct. Then we buy instead of when is the best price, because we will never be able to predict when is the best price. Meaning, like, should, can we predict like? Oh okay. Uh, this month the developer drop price. Next month the developer drop price. June the developer drop price. We we won't be able to predict such uh move. And also a lot of developments, right? Developers are big businesses. They are not stupid. You realize that a lot of developments they don't release the whole condo six hundred unit, one thousand unit for you to buy. They only release like phase one, phase two, phase three. So maybe phase two they release cheaper, or phase three they release more expensive. It's a up and down, you know. It really depends on how and what kind of strategy that they are doing. Like I told you, the cost averaging and all these things. But they will never, never, never do a slash price, oh. Okay, the percentage of them are uh, to do a slash price on their current stacks that already selling or already uh sold a few units, is very, very, very almost impossible. Because today you are slapping yourself by doing that, and. If to the extent ah uh, that people are not buying, then maybe I do agree that the developer will do that. Today I feel that it's not the right time to do that because if I'm the developer, if I were to increase my sales, I will not do it on my first year or second year of sales. What I may do it on my fourth year of sales or third year of sales, right? So if you feel that today ah, uh, if you feel that the de- developer will drop price, right? You can wait wait until next year. Because I feel that next year or the year after, maybe the price ah, uh, maybe the the possibility is higher. But you you think about this ah, uh, if you think that the possibility is higher, what if the developer sell off a lot this year? Then the developer will only to do this move on the on the fourth year already what or on the third year already what? So, you see ah, uh, in March ah, uh, many many developments ah, uh, still manage to sell very well, and to be frank, you all just have to watch. After the circuit breaker, sales will still continue on because even in the circuit breaker period, right, people are still going to a developer to buy units, right, without going to a developer office. They don't need to go to the developer office to buy units. They can do it digitally. It's not correct to have the mindset of when to buy. It's just that you need to know whether the price that you enter for this development for this purchase is correct or not. And if you are looking at buying gold or trying to dig gold out of resale, right? My next few videos will share with you. Why am I taking this topic very very seriously? Because I have been getting a lot a lot of question on this, and I still feel that the information given to the consumer is very very wrong. Like some of the source, ah, whether it's forum, you if you watch my pre- previous video, I feel that it's very very wrong. So if today you are a serious buyer, take a thought about what am I sharing with you. Then make your own decisions. I may not be correct, definitely, but I want you to understand that the developer is a business. They need to make profit. They understand standpoint. They have people that research. They have people that analyze. And from our figures, they are still selling. If today you are a business that 
during pandemic moments you are still selling will you slash your price during pandemic moments you are selling as well as moments last year that has no pandemic will you slash your price today some of the units they are waiting time maybe four years three years five years some very very long so developer like some on block they still got many years like five years four years they just start to sell early they still got many time to sell those that is nearing to to uh taking keys it's a mixed feeling because some people that not willing to wait they are looking for new launch that's coming up normally new launch that is going to take key right the prices will increase but in this moment maybe a lot of developer decide not to increase they decide to still sell at the price that they have set then isn't it already a good deal so i'm i feel that this topic that i'm talking now and the way i'm talking may be a bit chen重 la. maybe maybe i'm a bit serious about it is because i really don't feel that the mindset of waiting and hoping that the price will drop right is going to be correct for a serious buyer so today if you are a serious buyer you have to rethink that whether this mindset of yours is correct or not is it going to benefit you or not today if you're not a, not you're not a serious buyer you can wait you know and you can buy don't buy also no difference then maybe this mindset won't won't be a big problem to you the most you don't buy you don't you don't earn you don't lose all that's all i can say lah you know because you have to really really put yourself if today you are a developer and by statistics you are still selling will you slash price and today you are a developer by statistics you are still selling and you still have about three and a half years to go four years to go some even five years will you be in a hurry to drop price now today you are a developer if you are already 50 percent so 30 percent so 40 percent so do you think there is a need to drop price so thank you for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button i hope this brings the right information and knowledge across to you you may not like what i'm saying you hit the dislike button but be truthful to yourself that what i'm saying is worth consideration so go and hit the like button instead of the dislike button thank you and i see you in the next episode Bye bye